Is color important in the Bible? You. Is color important? Why do you say it's important? Huh? Okay. The sky, the green, the trees, and the grass. Is color important? Yes, very much. Why? Why? Because it can. Uh, why color is important? Because you can use it to identify. What about you, young man? Come, come, come. That's color important. Come talk in the mic. Talk loud. Let me hear. Oh, okay. Watch this. Let me show you something. And this is regards to you and the young man and your kids. Come on. Leviticus 19.17. Watch this. I'm going to show you a basic law in the Bible. And I know you're listening back here. It's good. I want you all to listen. Is color important, Ma? Is color important? Yes or no? Is color important? She said yes. Okay. Read that. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. I'm going to give an example of that. You ever hear these rap artists do rap songs about black women? Do you realize we're the only race that belittle our sisters? We call them in these music songs paws and bees. We're the only race that does that. And in church, hold, hey, hey, y'all what's up? Hold that up for me. Yeah. I want y'all, hey, little man, let me ask your boy something. Hold it up. Hi, you. Who is this right here? Who is this? Who's that? You know who that is? Good. Mm. I don't know if you're telling me the truth. Who do they say this is, young lady? Who do they say that is? They say Jesus, right? So now, to show you the, the love in the Bible, the, lo the love that we have for our brothers and sisters, get Revelation 1. Keep that. Yes. Stay that right there. Yes, Come on, read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his ears were white like wool. Number one, Jesus Christ has white woolly hair. This picture does not have white woolly hair. He has straight stringy hair. Woolly hair is like your hair. You see this brother's hair? That's white wool right there. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. When it says his eyes as a flame of fire, when you read Genesis 49, 12, it says the Messiah's eyes shall be red with wine. Read. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now he looks like I can see the sister's feet. Her feet is the same color as her legs, her arms, and her face. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. As if he burned in a furnace. So he was so dark. The Bible says Jesus Christ looked like he was burned in a furnace. That's not these images in these churches. No, they have taught us lie. Good, good, I'm glad. So guess what? We read the law, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The reason, I'm going to tell you why there's so much crime in Jamaica. They said over 11,000 people were killed last year. You know why? Self-hatred. Because when we look at each other, we don't see Jesus Christ. We don't see the prophets. You know who we see? Niggas. No good, nothing. But when we see the white man, oh, that's Jesus, yes, sir. When we see him, we go, yes, sir. Okay, sir. We shut, nah, we suck our teeth. We disrespect, you know I'm telling the truth, right? That's how black people are. From Grenada, America, Trinidad, Jamaica, it's the same evil spirit, because they taught us this. Now, King Solomon, what color is King Solomon? Why you say black, why? Because, huh? He says, where's that? Your son said, daddy, where's say that? Your son will say, daddy, where's say that? Where you get that from? Okay, King Solomon, black or white? Black. Why are you saying that? Huh? Songs Come talk loud. You talk all soft. Songs of Solomon. Oh, very good. That's what I wanted to hear. Your son will ask you, Daddy, where you get that from. You got to be able to say the Song of Solomon. Get that, chapter 1 and 5. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1, reading from verse 5. I am black, but comely. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. So King Solomon which was an ancestor of Jesus Christ, said, I am black, but comely. Now get the prophet Job, Job 30 and 30. All the prophets are black, but we've never taught that. 
We've taught all the people of God look like this. All your churches in Jamaica got these images up there. Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness. Give me some more. Pentecostal. Roman Catholic got these false images. And none of you ever challenged these false ministers. Unorthodox. Oh, unorthodox. So read that. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black. Who's speaking? The prophet Job. Read it again. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. So Job said he's black. King Solomon said he's black. Jesus Christ said he's black. Give me Jeremiah 8, 21. So don't tell us color's not in the Bible. Don't tell us color's not important. It is important. It's so important that that's love you have for your children. You teach them it don't matter. That's where your girls grow up, grow up, marry the white man, your sons grow up, marry the East Indian, and they all exploit you, and you hate one another, kill one another. That's what happened. Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am hurt. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. So the prophet Jeremiah says, he's black. Let's get some more. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 8. Color is all in the Bible, but the churches have taught lie after lie, and they taught it to the slaves and said, don't teach that. It's not important. So now the slave grow up. We hate each other. We disrespect one another and say, color doesn't matter. Will you, what scripture says color doesn't matter? Where does it say that in the Bible? Come on. The book of Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 8. Their visage is blacker than color. The word visage means their faces. Their faces is blacker than a coal. You know what a coal looks like? Like that book with jet black. So everybody want to bleach. Everybody want to bleach. What color the angel? The angels of heaven. What do they look like? Give me Ezekiel 113. In your church, what'd you say? She said white angels. Let's see what the Bible says. I don't know, ma. In the Bible, Ezekiel 1, it calls the angels the living creatures. Watch this. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 13. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. The angel's appearance is like burning coals of fire. You know what a coal looks like, mom? Is it white? It's jet black. There's no scripture that says the angels are white. So why we believe it so? You know why? Because you've been listening to your slave masters. You've been listening to this guy, the criminal. This is why, and this is why, watch this, this is why, that's showing that we have hatred for another. Who? Huh? Who, this guy died on the cross for you? Oh, did he look like that in the Bible? I'm glad, I see I like my mom right here. Mom, so this is what you have to do in church. You say, Mom, I love you. Can you show me this image in the Bible? Come on, what scripture? That's what you men have to do. You have to start challenging these preachers out here because they'll have our, uh, and they, the church is mostly filled with women. And these women, they'll get your check, your money, and give it to preacher man. Preacher man driving Bentley, you take the bus. Okay. That's what they do. Yes. So you men, you men have to challenge these preachers because these women, these women will say they love you, but if they pray into this, you don't have no hold on them. Their soul belongs here to this man. That's why the white man says whatever he says, and it's gold. You speak, ah, you don't know it. You speak, ah, you say something, ah. Nobody listens to black men. That's why we must prove what we say out of the Bible. To show we are the prophets of God. We are the sons and daughters of God Almighty. So now, Jesus Christ, she said this him. Let me show you. You see this picture got yellow hair, right? Let me show you yellow hair in the Bible, mom. Leviticus, come on, 13 and 30. Because in Jamaica, we've seen a several women with yellow hair. I said, oh, look at this. In America, all in America, the, the rap artist, Mary J. Blige, you know, know them, the singers. We love them, but they straighten their hair to look like this character here. You got it for me? Let's see what the Bible says about straight hair and yellow hair. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin here, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scalp, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. Wait, wait, did y'all hear what the Bible says? Everybody say, did, Ma, did you hear what the Bible says about yellow hair? You didn't hear, listen good. 
Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be inside deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thing here, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scalp, even a leprosy upon the head, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. Now give me this picture, give me this picture right here. Most of you have never seen this guy. Most of you have never seen this guy right here. If I asked you all, who is this? You go, me don't know who that criminal is. What, him just came out of jail? No. Let's see what the Bible says about this guy right here. Hold with the devil. Where's the devil? I want, I, I want, I no, no, no. I want the devil yeah, next to him. I ain't done with the devil. All right. now, I said this is the devil. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what the Bible says. Now, Mom, I want you to tell me, when we read the scripture, which one is Jesus? This guy or this? Come on. Verse 14. This is read verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Look at the man right here. Look at the picture right here. Is this white woolly hair? Number one, it's not wool. Y'all know what wool hair is? Wool hair is like your hair, my hair, her hair, her hair, her, his hair. You know what wool hair is, right? This is wool hair. This is straight, stringy hair, thin hair. That strike one, read, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire. Read Genesis 49. This is why it says his eyes as a flame of fire. Watch this. The book of Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Moses was prophesying the coming Messiah. His eyes shall be red with wine. Go ahead. Go back. And his eyes shall be, sorry. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. Like I see your feet, I see her feet. Your feet are the same color as your face and your arms. Like unto fine brass. Brass is what color? What color? Brass is brown. Watch this. As if they're burned in a furnace. If you burn brown brass in a furnace, what color does it get, Mom? Black. If you burn white rice, what color does it get? It's still black. So, it said Christ looked like he was burned in a furnace. Strike three again. He ain't got white woolly hair. He don't look like he was burned in a furnace. You understand? So these are false images. This is what they call the image of the beast when you read a revelation, okay? I'm going to show you, get Revelation 13, 7. I'm going to show you the beast in the Bible. So this is the biblical description of Christ. And we have not shown love for our people because we have not taught it in churches. You men, you must challenge these preachers. Challenge them. Wherever they are, they have to stop teaching the lies. This is why the murder rate grows, goes higher and higher. Because of, and we disrespect and hate one another. Because we have a lack of self image the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. You're going to realize you are the saints of God. It was given unto him, meaning Satan, the devil, the white man, to make war with the saints. Watch this. And to overcome, he overcame us in war. Them and power was given him over all kindreds. And power was given the beast over all kindreds. And tongues. And tongues. And nations. And Let's ask a question. Who on the earth, think, who on the earth rules all nations, kindreds, and tongues? Just think of any government. Who is the most powerful government that everyone listens to? America. Eh, you already said America, the white man. Read on. Verse 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. And all that, hold it back up, and all that dwell on the earth shall worship him. Who is the world worshiping? This is the majority religion. That's what the Bible's talking about. And it's calling him the beast when you read it in the Bible. We have not learned the Bible yet, but you're learning it today. Okay, was there more? Yes, sir. Right. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, right. slain for the foundation of the world. Get Revelation 14 now. Watch this about the image. Because all your churches got this image. Your mothers pray to this. Your fathers pray to this. Your grandmommies, your grandfathers. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, if any man worship the beast, and his image, and his what? And his image. This is the image that the whole world worships. Go ahead. 
and receive his mark in his forehead and receive his philosophies in your mind, in your minds, or in his hand, or in your hand, meaning you support this mess. Go ahead. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out with mixture in the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Let's talk about thermonuclear destruction. That's what the fire is talking about. So it says, anyone that worships the beast and his image shall be cast into the lake of fire. That's the thermonuclear destruction. Guess what? We have time. The majority of Jamaica worships this, just like in America. Our people worship this. We just went to Ghana. All in Ghana, they got the same false images worshiping. So it's our job as the watchmen to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are, the Israelites. Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.